if you are someone who is looking for some reliable sources to buy cheap books in india then make sure you watch this video until the very end because i'll be sharing not just website but also some authentic ways where you can read more and more books at low cost so make sure you stay tuned and even share this video with your reader friends i would like to share over here that initially when i became a reader i was obviously not buying a lot of paperbacks or hard covers even today i don't buy hard covers because they are too expensive but i definitely buy paperbacks but with time i'm realizing that you know there are also some other ways where i can read books and you know uh, make the most out of those sources without spending much amount because obviously we all want to save amount so here are like four to five ways that i feel are commonly used by people especially those who are avid readers so if you are also a reader who likes to read a lot then let's begin number one thing which i would recommend you guys to go and check bookcho.com this is not a sponsored video but i recently did in 2021 a collaboration with them and i found out that they have a lot of books especially if you're someone who is into classics you know some underrated books some books that are not that popular and some great foreign authors they have a wide variety of books and especially uh, they have second hand books only and there you can even sell your books uh i suppose you need to check uh, about that whether you can sell or not but you can definitely buy second hand books from there and they are very cheap and recently i got like one or two books from them and it was quite uh cheaper than amazon obviously and it, the book is second hand and the condition is also decent it's not bad but it's also not that that good it's just decent and the book is readable and i'm quite happy with that so if you want to buy like second hand books and you want if you want to go with any website bookcho.com is a website that i recommend there are other websites as well but since i haven't tried those i cannot recommend them over here second option is buying second hand books now you must be thinking that you know in bookchor also i talked about second hand books but here i am not talking particularly about any website but buying second hand books from other readers so if you are a bookstagrammer or if you follow bookstagrammers basically uh, people who are book bloggers on instagram on instagram if you follow those people uh, you will see not every bookstagrammer does that but uh, there are few people who are also you know uh giving away their sec uh, their books which they have already read so now they are second hand books uh they are selling it for you know less amount so you can buy second hand books from them as well uh since they are more reliable they have this you know whole blog and you know they are very authentic but you need to check about their authenticity obviously um i can't guarantee anything in general but so once in a while you know if someone um unhauls their books which is like giving away their books uh, at less amount you know they update on their story so if you're following some you will get to know uh, which books they are selling and you can message them and you know get the books from them this is also one way of getting second hand books at low cost third way is downloading pdfs slash epubs and i definitely know that this is piracy but there is this website called z library which is legal as far as i know so that's not you know illegal uh, they have like a huge variety of books like even the books that are recently published by some famous authors i would say specifically uh they have you know every book every book almost they have every book because even i have downloaded few books from there but since i i don't read ebooks that much i did not read those books but z library is a legal website that you can use to download pdfs and epubs absolutely for free so even if you cannot afford to buy second hand books that cost you around 100 or 150 you can definitely go with this option where you buy pdf uh, where you download pdfs or ebooks absolutely for zero cost from z library i link the website in my description so you can check it otherwise you can just google it by typing z library and you'll just get it second last option is kindle edition 
now a lot of people which includes me as well are you know sometime back um in 2020 i did not know that you know how this kindle edition and everything works but kindle edition is basically you know you um you know the ebook version of any book uh, you know you just read it on your phone your tablet uh, that's how you know that is what kindle edition basically is and um, it is linked with your amazon account so if a paper bag is of like you know 200 or 250 or 300 there are chances i am not guaranteeing it but there are chances that the kindle edition is cheaper than that price i have seen at in some cases that you know usually the kindle price is higher than the paper bag i just don't know uh, what is the logic behind this but you have to check it so you know sometimes um, even kindle edition is also cheaper than paper bag so if you don't want to go even with z library because you feel that you know uh, you are not uh, paying the author you know their royalty and everything you can buy kindle edition and you can read it that way if it is cheaper than paper bag obviously uh because you know it's all messed up with a lot of books i have seen a uh, kindle edition is usually higher and the paper bag and you know hard cover prices are lower i just don't know what's the logic but i have seen it last and the fifth point is audio books so a lot of people still have not normalized and still have not accepted but then who cares that you know um listening to audio books is still is also considered that you have finished that book right because a lot of people are busy they do not have much time they are usually exhausted from their uh, day job or whatever profession they are in and they definitely now you know just cannot strain their eyes even more uh, by reading a paperback or an ebook so what they would prefer is they would listen to audio books now there are some apps like storytel audible and even on telegram channel there are some public ch uh, channel telegram app there are some public channels where they provide ebook uh, audio books as well as ebooks for free so currently i'm using storytel for the first time and monthly it is 299 and i'm sharing it with my reader friends if you share it with someone you have an advantage because the price just you know gets half of the original so the original is 299 for one month and it even gives you 3 days free trial and now thing is like you know um if you are sharing it with someone it is like 149 for one month and additional 3 days for free that was for trial period so you can like listen to as many audio books as possible for you so let's say you manage to listen to 10 audio books in one month imagine you listen to 10 audio books basically 10 books for just 149 this is a great steal deal and so that's why i feel you know since paperbacks are also very expensive people are more and more not more and more but you know it's all about preference but people do also listen to audio books since this is also very affordable as you can listen to a lot of audio books at just one price that is 149 if you're sharing or if there are like four to five people then the price just you know gets even more down uh, but original it's uh, 299 but i find audio books just you know the best thing that has happened uh, in the recent times i just love listening to audio books because the narrators are very you know like these audio books are very interesting because of narrators and how they narrate everything there are so many different effects and you just feel that you know you are either watching that um, book or you know you are in that world where the story is set so if you haven't tried audio books yet i definitely recommend that you must try an audio book at least for once in your life and if the narrator is good then there is no going back trust me on that because even i fell in love with audio books because of the narrator and i guess the very first audio book i listened to was the forest of enchantments by chitra banerjee and the narrator was just brilliant and you know i could not stop myself from listening to it more and more so you know it's also about the narrator um so you have to see to that i hope your narrator is also good because not every narrator is good so you know it's all about that but but i thought of adding this here because i think that this is also like a steal deal and you can listen to or finish a lot of books at one price 
so that is it for today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed it if you found this video valuable please do share it with your reader friends who might be interested in watching this type of content if you have still not subscribed to my channel please i highly request you do that because i upload regular videos every week and i would love to see you here if you haven't visited my instagram page yet then i request you to do that too i upload regular bookish content over there as well and i'm very much active on my instagram stories my instagram handle is books with sakshi i would love to see you over there and so until next time take care and keep reading